The role of cyber people, both in OT and IT, is becoming much more this custodian of enabling business to do things yeah. secure and trying to do the best with what you have. So for example, let's say your OT stuff is connected to the internet. Mm -hmm. Well, great. So then what are your tools to protect it? Have cyber hygiene, right? You have authentication, access controls, uh, malware, all this kind of stuff. And what's state of the art in that? Well, state of the art is doing the basics and also regularly monitoring how do you know what you know. So if you're monitoring your network, you have EDRs out there, you have packet sniffers, you have, you have uh, threat feeds and all this kind of stuff. How do you know that all that's working? So there's a new category called uh, CTAM, basically where you implement stuff like your own Typhoon, your own, your own Vault Typhoon, and you literally fire it up once in a while and you make sure your stuff is detected in the same way that airplanes have multiple ways to, to measure altitude, airspeed, and, and, and direction. But on the other side, there's these other strategic things you can do. Now in OT, we have a lot of air gap systems. Now I say air gapped, they are crypto gapped, maybe they're serial line gapped, maybe they're one way gapped. There's a lot of ways to gap something. But the thing to realize is that they're, they're separating from this radioactive content that's on the internet.